reporting about January 6th, what took place January 6th, um, the so-called Never. insurrection. What, could, what, what, could, what took place on January 6th? Which I'm was not. not an insurrection. Let me ask you a question. Esti- okay, let me ask you this. Can you kick my ass? It's 300... Thousand to eight hundred thousand people at that protest. If there was to be an insurrection, don't you think that the three hundred to eight hundred thousand people will have been armed and literally? No, because the insurrection was a small group of people coordinated. The rest of them weren't in on it. They were just padding. The idea is that they they thought they would kind of take to the streets like a Euromaidan moment and back it up. There were also guns nearby in trucks in case they could pass them out to somebody. In case they were successful in holding the Senate, then they would send people to the trucks to get weapons to hold the Capitol. Just because, like, the, the regular rally old fucks walking around weren't armed is not an excuse. This is working. Hold on a second. I gotta move this over here. Overwhelm the Capitol building in a bigger way. <laughs> And it was overwhelmed? Of course. Well, apparently, apparently that wasn't necessary. People didn't go there for an insurrection. They didn't go there for a riot. Everybody knows this, but it doesn't matter. The narrative's out there because it's to attack Trump and his people. We finally... Well, um, asshole, A, they had guns. Uh, there are multiple coordinating groups. There are multiple people uh, associated with the president that coordinated with those coordinating groups. And people attacked fucking cops and thought they had every right to do it. They believed that they were sent there because every message they'd heard from the president and his supporters and his, and his, you know, capos like Bannon was that, yeah, it's going to be cool. He's going to, you'll get to get out of jail. You're deputized. One federal district judge who's acknowledged that you're charging somebody with felonies. Right. He's waved into the Capitol building. Okay. This, they show this a lot, and I think he's going to show, I'm pretty sure, this has been making the circles, uh, like released footage, this documentary thing. The police at one point knew they were overwhelmed. They heard, they were told they were never going to, like, get these people, keep them from overrunning the doors. But different parts of the, of the Senate and the House building are sequestered away from others. There are barriers in between them. So, if you can't stop them from getting in, You can distract them in another direction and have them dick around in a portion of the building where no one is, none of the Congress people are there, while they get the the Congress people out through the fucking tunnel and the other way. It's a strategy. It makes total fucking sense. Anybody who's in this circumstance would do the same thing. It was very smart. It was the only thing they could do. The only other option was for more cops to just die. And this is, this is the basis of this. Cops waved them through. Yeah, they waved them into a useless part of the building away from the people who were escaping, including the vice president. Charging other people with misdemeanors for parading and trespassing. Right, because some people just walked in and waved and, and, you know, and took pictures. And other people beat cops, fucko. And then you're saying that they were interfering with a vote. But they, some of them were waved into the Capitol building. There's some... Yes, into an area where the vote had already stopped. About these videotapes, the government is releasing uh, very sparingly. And it seems to me the American people have a right to know exactly what's in all these videotapes. So we can pass judgment on these prosecutions and these judges and what's taking place. But one... So we, wait, so we, we can pass judgment on these judges and these prosecutions. Now, I want you to take a look at this new January 6th video. It shows... Ca- it's a, he said new, not nude, just to... Little police welcoming protesters through the terrace doors. Now, if they're doing that, you can't be charged even with a minor misdemeanor, parading or trespass. Yes, you can, because you're already on the grounds. If they decide to route people out of a violent mob and they go, look, if you're not going to fight, you can go this way out that exit. Get the fuck out of here. You can't go over that way because that's a cliff. You can go this way. Like, that's just stupid. You're being waved. Also, 
None of the people who are, uh, well, we'll see if they show any of the folks that they assume are, uh, you were waved in and then they did some stuff. The idea was that they're, they're not going to be able to attack Congress people. The other stuff, like attacking police officers, which is part and partial. And these people are getting caught up in these prosecutions. Go. The following footage was obtained from the United States Department of Justice. It contains surveillance video of the Upper West Terrace doors of the United States Capitol on January 6, 2021. Okay, the Upper West Terrace doors. Um, don't get excited, Mark Meadows. It's not the Upper West Terrace doors. I know that's what you want them to be, but okay. Um, upper West Terrace doors, Capitol. Images. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Trying to find some uh, like a picture um, that shows you where the doors are because the it's show, just showing the interior. And again, this is two. Uh, this is at two forty seven. This is after shit had already hit the fan. They were already overwhelming the place. Cops had been beaten. They didn't have the people to hold them off. So the idea was. Send them through a different doorway. Just after 2.33 p.m., police officers allow five individuals to exit the Capitol through the Upper West Terrace doors. To exit, so these are people who were in the Capitol and they're going out. They are exiting the Capitol. Okay. At 2.34 p.m., a gentleman holding an American flag catches the door just as the last protester leaves. He turns to the crowd outside and waves towards the door. Um, I'll say, what's the fucking drone audio? Same time at 2.34 p.m., a gentleman with a red cap approaches the interior doors. As the police officer notices him, he continues to approach. The police officer holds the door for the protester as he enters the Capitol undeterred. At 2.35 p.m., a large group enters the interior of the Capitol, police standing at the doors. As a steady stream of protesters enter through the Upper West Terrace doors, they can see police officers standing at the interior doors, allowing people to pass. So this is the, uh, like, again, this is a routing thing. This is so dumb. I don't know why two cops didn't just open fire on all these people. That's, I mean, considering that was their, their baseline options. At, two, at 2 47 PM, the UFO decided, fuck it. I'm not going to land and just flew away. Look, and by the way, look at Levin watching this footage. <laughs> did, did you watch it beforehand? It's your show. And by the way, this is his show on Blaze. This is the same set he uses. Um, I guess this is in Glenn Beck's garage. Is that where is that where Levin has his show? What I mean, what why why that sound? Why not? Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. How about? Uh... Oh, no, how about? Where are you taking me? Where are we going? Um... I'm in a frying pan. I'm in a frying pan. Honestly. More cops.
Why, why, why did you stop playing it? Is that, was that a copyright strike Around on the audio? 250 protesters entered to the Upper West Terrace doors that day, many of which are charged with felony obstruction. By the way, uh, for entering a building undis uh, undiscouraged, whatever. Okay, the felony obstruction charges for them are not for entering the fucking premises. They're for attempting to stop the proceedings. And this, this distinction where people are like, I had a red hat on. That was me entering the door. And then later on, they're like, no, you actually were over here. We have a picture of your fucking face. This is stupid. For entering a building undiscouraged. That's not why they were charged with obstructing. A lot of people who walked in there that day were charged with trespassing. They weren't charged with the greater charges. At 2.36 p.m., a police officer walks towards the exit against the flow of protesters. He then turns around and begins walking with the protesters. He turned his back to them and never took a posture that was defensive or that would indicate that he feared being harmed. At 2.36.54, the police allow the crowd to pass. Yes, they were setting up a cordoned area to route people through. And so they knew the vast majority of the people who were storming up the steps who would come through this way weren't going to just kill them. They were only attacking cops. It seemed at that point there was a decision. They're totally outnumbered. They're totally fucking outnumbered. So the choice is we keep fighting these fuckers and don't let them gain any ground or we let them go out this way, get them away from anybody while we're, while we're getting the, the Congress and everybody in a secure location. And we'll just go, hey guys, no, don't worry about it. We're just going to, you guys got to go this way. It's totally cool. And, and hoping that, that the vast majority of these maggots would just, wouldn't attack a cop unless they were keyed up or, or, you know, or enticed to do so. At 2.38 PM, a woman with a sock hat. Two minutes later, a woman with a sock hat and a camera with a sound recording device attached to it films police as they allow people to enter. And a camera with a sound recording device attached to it films police as they allow people to enter. A steady stream of individuals pass by police as they stand aside without deterring protesters for several minutes. Um, by the way, uh, Mark, uh, can you show me the footage of where these people went after? Did these people, the ones who went this door, end up finding themselves routed down a hallway and, and then right back out fucking side? Because more than likely, that's what happened. It also has a lot to do with who was charged that day and the people that did get busted were the people running back and forth who broke in another place. They came in, then they turned around and went the fuck out, then they went down that way and they got into a fight and they came back over. Jesus Christ. Is that the end of the clip or you just stop the... Why does the rumble on the audio stop every so often? Again, they're routing people away from the mass. They're trying to thin out the herd. This is a strategy. This is what you would do. Oh, okay, there it is. It's back again. <laughs> I'm glad we can watch Mark Levin watch television. This is like, this must be what his wife feels like when he's like, no, you're going to love this show. <laughs> Why does it come and go? Notice these people aren't violent in any way. Right. They're being routed away from the violent crowd. Some of them chat with the cops here and there. Right. So fucking what? I, I saw the footage of the bar where the accused happened. Some of the people there looked like they were drinking and partying just fine. None of the people that I saw in this video near the bathroom went back into the back pool room and sexually assaulted the woman. So. At 2.40 p.m., police stopped the protesters to speak to them again. At 2.44 p.m., a police officer in the bottom of the screen can be seen speaking to the officers in front of him and pulling them away, indicating to the crowd that they are allowed to enter. Right, because they are being routed out of the building through another way. The officers then turned their backs to the crowd, which indicate that they did not possess fear of the protesters. Right, because they knew they had told the protesters, everything's cool, you guys can come in this way, uh, just mind your business, don't attack anybody, blah, blah, blah. Right. The officers then... Why don't you play the audio of the actual recording? There's like five fucking guys filming this cop. Do you think he's hiding something? Or the crowd into the interior of the Capitol. Perhaps this is... And then... I then won't release all the video. 
Yeah, that's why. Yeah. They're trying to protect cops. Everybody's being routed up that particular flight of stairs. They're going, hey, can I go over that way? 47 p.m. Police wearing yellow gear close the doors. Police presence then increases and no more individuals enter through the Upper West Terrace doors. Yeah. Once reinforcements came, they didn't have to route people. How the fuck? How are they this dumb? Okay. 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 I think, Mr. Producer, that we should have just let them uh, uh, steamroll the cops and the cops should have held back everybody and not uh, routed people out safely away from the area where the Congress people were. Uh, because uh, being outnumbered is no reason not to do your job, police officer. And if you get killed in the line of duty, that's why we, uh, it's why we don't show up at your funeral. A number of those people are being charged. No. A number of those people are being charged for other shit they did. The people who just got went through with them that didn't beat up a cop or take a fucking shit or steal something aren't facing charges. And if they are, it's it's like, you know, illegal parading. And they're routing them off the grounds through the building. The entering of the building is no more a, a, uh, a crime than, than illegally being on the steps past the barriers at that point. And if they can get people away from the area where they were doing the fucking heave-ho at the doors. Hold on one second. Let me see this. Uh... Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can find the, hold on. Okay, this is a, all the stuff is at two o'clock, about 2.04, right? 237. So here's, uh, shortly after two o'clock, uh, protesters start breaking windows and climbing the Capitol. They open doors for others to follow. These are the people being charged, Mark. A few minutes later, Pelosi ushered off the House floor. 220. The Senate is called into recess. This is, and all the stuff that they're talking about is happens at 237, 240, around that area, and then after. Um, at this time, uh, Capitol Police Officer Eugene Goodman saves the Senate from a very close call, waving Senator Mitt Romney, Republican of Utah, to safety, and then diverting protesters who were states. This is one of the guys who went up the steps. Uh, 224, Trump tweets, Mike Pence didn't have the courage to do what should have been done to protect our country and constitution. Keeps talking about shit again, basically driving them up. Trump tweets again, urges people to stay peaceful. They aren't peaceful at this point. They've already broken windows and attacked people. They're beating cops. Um, and then they ha start handing out uh, gas masks and tell people to hide. Shortly before 3 p.m., rioters break into the Senate chamber. Many jump from the balcony to the floor below. They climb onto the podium. This is when they have, uh, let's see, where's they? We told them, uh, they told us. Tear gas in the rotunda that was under our seats. Elsewhere in the county protests gathered the Louisiana, Florida State Capitals. Like, da, da, da. Shortly before the day, they break into the Senate cham chamber. Many jump from the balcony to the floor below. Um, they go through the halls of the Capitol. 311 tweets a video while sheltering in his office. So they're trying to lead people away at this 3 o'clock moment. Around the same time, swarm of riders chance to break it down. Overwhelms Capitol Police guarding the Speaker's lobby where the lawmakers are sheltered. They break and try to force their way in. This is the Ashley Babbitt shooting, 336. They're diverting people away. There's a huge crowd of people out there, and they're like, yeah, you guys coming this way. Out. And this fucko thinks that uh, these people were, uh, this, this was not an insurrection. These people are lovely. They meant well. They're trying to prevent the vote from taking place uh, from the uh, electoral votes with uh, parading and trespass with parading and trespass and, you know, beating cops with Blue Lives Matter flags. Among other things. Among other things. 
like uh, trying to gouge a cop's eye out, tasing him, uh, tasing one eight times so he has a fucking heart attack, stomping one of their own to death. This is really appalling, don't you think? Yes, I think your assessment about this is fucking appalling, Mark, but it's not surprising. You're a dweeb. And uh, that's why I wanted to show it to you. All of it. Thanks. Um, Mark, um, all that heavy music and stuff about Jan 6, and what did you show us? You showed a diversionary tactic as they routed people through a hallway out another door to a place where they wouldn't harm anywhere. They would run around fucking busy like assholes until they cleared people away. And you still made it boring. Who should be released. What I just showed you, as best I can tell, has not been shown on CNN or MSNBC. Check first. I, I mean, I can hunt this down, but I don't give a fuck. There's all kinds of footage of cops going, leading people in. This was the this was the strategy. NBC, ABC, CBS. It's not been shown. To the yes. Thank God for the blaze. Hi. Love you. Still working. You good? Hold on. I need to kiss my girlfriend. One second. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I need to turn the fan on. It's hot in here now. This is crazy. What's that? Uh huh. I think so. Nope. That one? Nope. Third one? Oh, third one is. In there? Fourth one? Yep, it's the fourth one. Thank you. Whew, that's all right. I got all hot and bothered when she gave me a kiss. I was all, hmm. Turn the fans on. <laughs> um, American people. Except to you and people on the internet, I suppose. Yeah, people on you, people on the internet, people on Rumble. This is the sort of thing that's presented in court. People are being pressed to plead guilty to various offenses because wait, they don't wait, have wait, 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 wait a second, fucko. These people are being pressed to plead guilty because they filmed themselves beating cops. They filmed themselves stealing shit. They filmed themselves urinating in the rotunda. They filmed themselves threatening to murder members of Congress. None of the people who just walk through this fucking door are getting charged with anything. They should, but they're all getting let off. Tens of thousands. You even started this with how many thousands of people were there. And how many are they charging? 600? Here are the time to, to deal with these trials or they're in jail and they want to get out. One hey, I got a good idea. If you're in jail and you want to get out and they offer you uh, bail or bond and you can afford it, don't uh, spit on the guards at the jail, uh, threaten people, um, tell the judge that if you would, if you got out today, you'd do it all over again. Because it's, it's, not, it's not a good look. Just last week or earlier this week had decided to enter into a plea agreement and then withdrew after a federal judge finally ruled that in one case, he said, how can you charge somebody with criminal trespass and parading and trying to prevent a vote? And the police are waving the individual in. So the judge threw it out. This is the first case. That we yeah, so one of them. Because they scooped up a bunch of fucking people. I don't care. All these people were illegally on the grounds, fucko. They all came in with that intent. Just because the judge who Trump very well possibly might have uh, put in, or even Obama might have put in and went, yeah, I know I'm going to be a stickler about this. You got, you know, I'm, I'm not going to, the, the, the slippery slope of a cop waving you in could lead to a bunch of other shit, even if you came in with malice aforethought. Federal district judge in Washington, D.C. threw one of those cases out. The first one. Yeah, and the only one. The first one. Now, you can see yourself getting caught up in this, right? I mean, I... By the oh, technically... Thousands of these cases have been thrown out simply by not being pursued. For that very same reason. She was con she was in a group of a lot of other people who were way through and didn't do other shit. So they're like, nah, blow it. Okay. See myself, not that I would, but I'm, I could see it. If people are marching in, you're, you're, you're 30 people back. 
Yes, we know. You're a follower, Mark. We get it. And the police don't care, and the doors are open, or they're waving you in. And and you're just, I mean, there's a cop being tasered to your right, and somebody's beating him with a Blue Lives Matter flag, and you've got a boner. Anyways, you might as well go inside. You want to see what's going on. Yeah, you just want to see what's going on. Fuck, if, if this is the opening act, if we're tasing and beating cops as the opener, I can't wait for the headline. Now you're going to be charged with crimes? Yes. They all committed crimes, fucko. I'm not talking about people violently attacking the cops. Yes, you are. Or breaking windows or breaking through the doors. We know that's a different group. I'm talking... There's, that's a different group. That's Antifa and BLM, clearly. About this group, and I'm talking about the... I'm talking about the 14 to 27 people that I saw in this video clip that walked up the stairs that I can't identify, and I have no idea what the fuck they did the rest of the time they were there, before or after, or if they were coordinating with the fucking Proud Boys, and it was their truck that had a bunch of fucking guns in it. Who cares? The vast majority of people. No, the vast majority of people went the fuck home. They're assholes, they're, they're Trump lovers, but they weren't willing to go so far as to attack our goddamn democracy. And to that, I give them credit. I don't agree with their choices. I think their following of Trump is sort of ridiculous, but human to human, fine. Thank you very much. You, you believe what you believed. You, have your, you probably have the same opinion about the women's march when they showed up, which I marched in as well, when Trump got elected in the first place. And that's how we operate in this country. Most of the people who watch Trump went the fuck home. Any of the people who went to the Capitol and intended to go inside, fuck them. So this is something that, that unfortunately, that, 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 justice that. does not seem like it's going to prevail. For all this and much more. You're right, Levin. Justice is not going to prevail. Most of these fuckers aren't going to get what they deserve. They're going to get a slap on the wrist. They're going to lie about where they were and what they were doing. And what their intent was, they came there with the intent to murder someone and they didn't get to do it. So therefore, like, I was just walking around. So no. And, yeah. And it's Caden or whatever. Where's... Right. Thanks for watching. You're watching uh, Hal Sparks Mega Worldwide. I'm, I'm on uh, every day, Monday through Friday. Thursdays, I'm on at 4 o'clock. The rest of the week, I'm on at 3. I do a morning show Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And, of course, Saturday, the House Park Radio Program, Mega Worldwide, which I will do tomorrow at 9 o'clock in the morning, uh, Pacific time, my time. We take calls and all that kind of stuff.